Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to go over relations and rollups in Notion. And this is something that many beginners struggle with as it can get quite complicated with the many databases that you can create in Notion. So let's get started. You're welcome to follow along as we go, just so that you can also learn while doing. And we're going to go ahead and choose empty page here. So we have a blank page. And now let's actually create two databases so that we can make relations with them. So type slash table so we can make a table view database and plus new database. And to show this example, we're going to go ahead and make two databases where one is the ingredients and one are your recipes. So this is also useful if you want to make some kind of recipe book template. But for this example, let's do ingredients in this database. And we're going to make another table view database called recipes. So here as well, table view and plus new database. And we're going to title this one recipes. So now we have two databases, ingredients and recipes. So in the ingredients, we're going to delete this property. And instead, we are going to add a number property showing dollars so we can show the price of an ingredient. Let's rename this to price. And here we have the ingredient. So let's just add a bunch of ingredients here. So let's say we're trying to make a veggie soup. So we need celery. We need carrots. Onions. Veggie broth. And let's throw in some egg noodles. And then we're going to just fill in the prices here. So. So now we have the prices in this column and then let's add to the recipes veggie soup with noodles and then we're going to delete this property. And now what we're going to do is start with the relations. So we want to relate the recipes to the ingredients that it uses. So veggie soup with noodles are going to use all of these ingredients. So let's click the plus sign here and add relation. So when you click relation, it's going to ask you what database you want to relate it to. And we want to relate it to the ingredients. So this one. And here you have some choices. So it says limit, no limit. And this means that whether or not you want to allow it to relate to multiple data entries. So in our case, we need to add multiple ingredients. So we need to do no limit. And then there's the option show on ingredients. And what this means is that whether or not you want to show which recipes are related on your ingredients database. So there's going to be an extra column and they're going to work together. So actually, let's just show on ingredients now, just so we can show you. And we're going to add relation. So now immediately you'll notice that there's a new column here for recipes. So if we put an ingredient here by clicking this, you get all your options from the ingredients. So let's put celery. And then already we see veggie soup and noodles over here. And let's say that we delete this one. Then the celery disappeared here as well. So they kind of work together in both directions. If you do the, the option where it's also shown on recipes. But it's a good practice to show here because otherwise you might lose track of what's going on. So we recommend keeping this, but we, we sometimes hide this column. And instead, what we do, we open here and we'll click the six dots here and then do minimal for the show as. And there's another option, which is as page section. And if you clicked here, what happens actually? Let's actually add the recipe here just to show you is that it comes out like this with these two dividers if you show it like that. But if we show as minimal, it shows up here. So this is our recommended method when you do relations that you can just see here in a small button how many relations you have. And then we'll 
hide this column by going to the three dots here and then properties and then hide this recipes column. So now it looks quite clean, but you still know which recipes are connected over in your ingredients page. So now what we want to do is let's go ahead and add more ingredients. So carrots, onions, veggie broth, egg noodles for this veggie soup with noodles. Now what's really cool is now you can actually use rollups and what rollups do is it rolls up the information from the related database. So in this case ingredients, you can roll up the other properties. So right now you only see the name and you access each page like this with the, the relation. But what if you want to see the prices? Then you can use rollup by clicking the plus sign here and go to roll up and you can select ingredients and now if you just select that you see that it just rolled up all of the ingredients here so it's just a copy but what you can do is now change the property from name to price so now you see a list of prices corresponding to your ingredients and what's cool is now you can also calculate various things. So it gives you all sorts of options for calculations. But for us, all we want to do is just sum the prices so you know approximately how much it costs to make a recipe. So let's do sum. And now we see that it costs $13 to make your veggie soup with noodles according to this price chart. And then you can click here and just call this, for example, total price. So this is a pretty useful way to use rollups if you need to calculate or or see things from your relation. Another thing you can do, for example, is edit the property and instead of sum, another useful one is to do count values. If we do that, then you see the number of ingredients you need to make the veggie soup. So you can experiment with this and choose the one you need for your use. And let's go with sum here. So now we see the sum, the ingredients, and the recipe here, and a list of ingredients plus prices over here. Now another thing you can do with relation is actually to relate things to yourself or to the database that you're trying to create the relation from. So that sounds confusing, but let's actually click the plus sign here and we'll show you what this means. So let's say actually let's actually add some more recipes here let's say veggie sticks to go with your veggie soup with noodles and you need celery carrots for that and then let's say that veggie sticks go really well with veggie soup with noodles well what if we add a relation here and we are going to do relation and we're going to relate it to this so it's related to this database and no limit and you can separate properties for each directions of a two-way relation. Uh, for now, we just do like this, add relation. So now we have related recipes. So we're just creating a relation within this database. So now we can choose veggie sticks. And for example, this could be side dishes. So although you have your list of recipes here, you might want some note of which recipes are good side dishes. So these are kind of the ways that you can use relations and rollups in Notion. And there's many ways you can use this, but this is just the basics. We hope this was useful for you. And let us know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you found confusing with this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.